Hey hey and welcome to my video. My name is Nina and today we are going to be working on a sunken forest area that you see right behind me. Now this is a mixture of a transition area and a main sub area I think because it's basically just filled with nature and trees but I think it's a focal point as it lies right in this valley that you get this very nice view of. Yeah, so let's get started. Now I started off by kind of destroying that cliff that I built up because I initially I thought I wanted this very tucked in and kind of like a completely sunken area so that it would be fully enclosed by cliffs but that just took away a lot of the space that I could actually now fill with trees that I removed the little dongle thingy-majig that we did <laughs> so um yeah and I think it looks a little more open but in the end it still feels very cozy as again there will be many many trees as um always on my island <laughs> Yeah, so I just keep tweaking that cliff and then I also add on some more space so that I thought I could put another tree on there, but I went right back to thinking that no, no, that's too close to what you just destroyed and it looks very weird, Nina, so maybe just leave it. And now I am just doing a little tree glitch because I wanted a little more height to the right side because we have that second cliff that borders my hidden enchanted forest, which I have a speed build of. It's actually my first speed build on this channel. So if you'd like to check it out, you're more than welcome to. I will put the link in the description. And now I start planning out where I want my trees to go. I always dig up holes where I am planning on placing trees so that I can see where they would go and um, how many I could fit. Especially if I'm planning to do a very dense forest, I always kind of plan out in advance by digging those holes. But <laughs> as you see, I still keep adjusting and, and um, swapping out trees and yeah and i like to alternate between stunted trees and fully grown trees as that adds a little more visual interest and height difference so that it looks more dense and full but still natural and not just similar looking trees um right in front or next to each other and as you can see i kind of did that zigzag pattern so it's not an actual pattern. I try to keep it very asymmetrical and very natural so that there aren't any rules to why certain trees are placed in a certain spot, if that makes sense. So there aren't straight lines. And now that I'm kind of happy with my tree placement for now, <laughs> I start to plant my shrubs and also added in the little um, fruit sprouts so that the stunted trees actually stop growing and will stay the way I just planted them. And especially in this very dense foresty area or soon to be very dense foresty area, I always try to add in many many shrubs and flowers so that the lowest parts like right on the ground are also full. And now I just add in my usual custom design cluttered mess. <laughs> um, just flowers and leaves so that uh, the items kind of look more grounded. I think it looks more like it's supposed to be there and it just looks more polished and finished if every single bit of grass is filled. In my opinion, I just can't bear with empty pieces of grass you know there needs to be a custom design dropped item flower or nature item yeah there's nothing in between either it's completely full or actually there's nothing else it's completely full all the time <laughs> and now again a very common thing for me my very very meticulous weed placement so i like to pick them up until i get the one that i want there's no no going off of my plan because if i have a vision in mind i i, I will not you know 
there are no compromises on this island. Um, and I think it's it kind of is important which weeds you place, especially if you are playing in fall, because there's this weird looking brown one that does not exist on drops. <laughs> and then we have the little leafy green thingies. And then we have that um, kind of dried out yellow grass and I like to alternate between the two and also kind of see where I need just like a smidge more green and like a smidge more yellow and now since this is a hidden forest I thought adding some more mush items to my island could not be wrong because I love adding those and in my forest areas I have the perfect excuse to just litter everything with them. <laughs> And I also got my hands on some yellow tulips so there will be a few more yellow tulips in my future builds because I think there's always one flower that you cannot get at all neither from your shop nor from Leaf's little stall so I think tulips are those for me and I, I can never get those so I just recently finally was able to grab some off of a friend of mine And then I also went ahead and filled the space behind those trees just so that it looks full and lush again. This voiceover is getting a bit repetitive at this point, I'm sorry. Um, I have no excuse at all, so you just gotta deal with it. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome that I'm sharing my scattered mind with you. <laughs> I usually don't use too many of the rock items but or like the stone items but for this one as it lies right in front of the back rocks of my island I thought it would just carry the dark grey and the stone elements nicely into the island and like slowly transitions over even though you can't really see it but I think it just helps the more natural feel of my island if those types of things are still considered you know I tried to make this area look very nice if you would pan up the camera from your nook phone all the way so that you get that like bird's eye perspective so that it's like facing straight down from the sky kind of. I'm not sure if it worked but I think as I tried to kind of layer the trees and have lower items in front and then um, taller items at the back, it still looks good in pictures if you do not pan up the camera all the way. I do want to improve my design work in that case though. I want to learn how to make things look good from a bird's eye perspective. Yeah, I might show you in the final tour at the end just so that you see what I mean when I say bird's eye perspective and how I could improve. So maybe that at one point we look back at this build and say like, wow, you, you actually kind of improved, Nina. Well done. Wow. Wow. Y'all, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I feel so off. Does it show? I think it does. Also, I love that I keep asking you questions as if you were here with me, you know? See, here, here I did the, the bird's eye perspective. Um, yeah, but um, just to check what I um, should improve. Didn't work in the end, but I tried. <laughs> Yeah, also I would love to hear your opinion and any like wishes on future content, like what would you like to see me build, any ideas. Now, while I am recording this voiceover, I have finished this island, so you won't 
really get to make many suggestions for this island but you can guess what my next theme is it will be a very natural one so if you have any any ideas or um, guesses please leave them down below i would love to talk to you also how are you feeling about the length of my speed builds would you like them to be a bit shorter or longer because i could do like 20 20 25 minutes because that would usually the length of my speed builds if i slow them up without any editing so without cutting out like boring parts i always cut out like the um customizing and grabbing new item stuff but i just never record it i just i just like pause the recording grab the stuff and customize stuff craft stuff and then like continue recording but without any editing further than that i think my videos would be around 20 25 minutes so please let me know if the 18 16 17 18 19 minute mark that i'm trying to kind of stick to right now is okay or if i should adjust that to your liking And now I am continuing the design onto the cliff as I always do to transition the areas over very nicely. And I kind of love how that creates this rainbow effect like from white and yellow to orange and red. I just I kind of love how that looks. I, I'm not sure why because I'm usually not the most colorful person, you know, but looks cute, I think. And now I just added in a bunch more final touches, dropped items and more custom designs. Yeah, and I just brought the design on top of the little cliff to the left as well. Just a little seating area, nothing too, too special, but just to fill the space and so that my villagers can come and sit by the water if they wish so. And that kind of wraps up the build for today. 
I'm going to leave you now with a montage of the finished product. If you enjoyed this video, I would very much appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. And yeah, take care of yourself. Until next time and bye bye.